Uh, our next comic is, uh, I've seen him perform, got to know him recently. He is a cool dude. Uh, let's give it up for Kevin Little. I mispronounced it, it's okay. Kevin Lytle, everybody. Hi, I'm Kevin Lytle, and I have been, for the last 20 years, a tattoo artist. Um, I'm gonna give you a couple little tips, little uh, little things to look forward to when you're getting tattooed or have questions about tattooing, things like that. Um, tattooing is one of those jobs that you can't really, people don't want you to do it unless you have tattoos. They don't, they don't have professions like that. I guess maybe urologist is one. Uh, yeah, so, I say, let, let me get into the thing. So, if you're gonna get tattooed, here's something to think about. Subtlety, don't be subtle. Subtlety dies as tattoos fade. You're gonna uh, run into a problem over time. I had a guy come in and he wants to get a very kind of subtle tattoo. He's a very religious man and he wants to get a tattoo of Jesus Christ on him. He goes, how about this? How about we get Jesus on me? But I want Jesus shredded. Not, not, in, the, you know, not in the movie type of sense, but like shredded like pecs. Got his abs all cut up, got his arms swollen up, got some veins running through it. Strapped to his back is a stone cross as he's digging himself out the grave, which isn't in the book. Uh, <laughs> but when you're looking at Jesus, when you're looking at Jesus' face, you realize it's not Jesus' face. It's me. Oh. <laughs> I had another guy come in, and he wants to get a wolf tattoo. Very fierce wolf tattoo. It's jumping out at you. Very fierce claws. I want fangs. And I draw it up. He's very excited. But he gets confused looking at his face and he goes, I'm looking at the wolf's paws and I think they would look more like claws. Less dog-like, more cat-like. I'm like, well, wolves and dogs are uh, related, Gary. Um, but you want tiger's claws on this thing? I mean, uh, that's fine. You know, who am I to stand in the way of your, your, your dream? I'm here to turn fantasy into flesh to see. That's my job. So I draw it up and he's super excited. The kind of excited that only like a stepfather can get. You know, like, ooh, yeah. He has a bunch of ideas. He goes off script. He goes, how about this? How about this? How about one of the claws, one of the claws we got here is a guitar pick. It might look like I fucked up the tattoo there, Gary. But again, I'm not here to stand in the way of your dreams. So I draw this fat claw and he goes, because my, because my girlfriend's son plays guitar. That's why. Okay, okay. Again, he's like super excited. He goes, oh, how about this? He's got, now he's got presents for the whole family. He goes, how about this? How about one of the teeth is extra long? So it looks kind of like, it's like an extra long tooth because my girlfriend, her daughter has like a snaggle tooth. <laughs> Nothing says I love my stepdaughter like telling her she looks like a war hog. <laughs> okay, Gary, let's go for it. So I draw that and he goes, oh, whoa, 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 how about this, how about this? How about we put an, uh, an eye patch on it, an eye patch on the wolf, because my girlfriend's other daughter has a sleepy eye. <laughs> What's going on at the house, Gary? <laughs> like, you know, extras from like Mad Max? <laughs> like, witness me, Gary! <laughs> so let me get this straight. You got you got a wolf, you got two claws, you got a guitar pick, you got a snaggle tooth, you got daughter sleepy eye. You know, because it's Christmas time. I guess what I'm trying to say is like come in with a plan. You gotta have a plan for where you're gonna get tattooed. Anyone have any questions about tattoos? What are your number one questions for tattoos? What's your favorite? What's my favorite tattoo? My favorite tattoo is the one that you got. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. The number one tattoo question I get is how old do you have to be to get tattooed? And you have to be 18 years old. You have to be old enough to, to get a tattoo. You have to be old enough to buy a lottery ticket, a porn mag, uh, cocaine. You know, just normal things you buy at 18. And, um, but you can, be, you can be as young as 16 to get tattooed. Um, well, what do you mean? You won't, you won't pierce my, uh, my daughter's nipples? No. <laughs> She's 11 years old. <laughs> no, Gary. <laughs> but she's already got her clip pierced. What the fuck, Gary? <laughs> oh, I know. The plot thickens with Gary. He went from a little weirdo to a fucking real weirdo. <laughs> Speaking of weirdos, let's talk about my dad. 
Um, yeah. Thank you for the support. I think it's one of my sisters that I haven't met yet. My father... My father had seven kids. Each one of us only children. Here's a story of a Michael Heaney who was dumb and took no responsibility of his own. He was young, dumb, and schizophrenic and left us all alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's sad. It is sad. I know. Okay, all right. I'm, I wouldn't doubt. If 23 and Me came up in this room, I'd get a couple pings. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, yeah. No, I would. Oh, my goodness. I feel like if I had, like, uh, if I had, like, somebody, like, narrating my life, like a, like a professional narrator, it would be, like, Werner Herzog. You know? The perspective. Comedian approaches the stage. As the cold winter and Detroit comes on like a gray blanket. <laughs> and he attempts to make the assembled masses to laugh. He pathetically fails. <laughs> That's why I want my... You know, I... Psychologists say that when we, uh, we look for someone that we're gonna build our life with, we're looking for a specific, uh, you know, significant other, that we're going to look for somebody that reminds us of our parents. You know, and if you're a woman, you might be looking for your dad. If you're gay, you might look for someone like your dad. Uh, but uh, I guess what I'm saying, I guess I'm looking for a girl that reminds me of my mom, you know. But the problem, I'm afraid of taking her home to meet my family. Because I'm afraid my dad would beat the fuck out of her too. And it's, I, okay, so, you know, it's jokes. These are jokes. These are jokes. These are jokes. These are jokes. I didn't even know who my dad was. Besides, he was my stepdad. <laughs> On that, we'll leave. <laughs> I'm Kevin Lytle. Thank you for coming out, guys.